I am lucky. I'm lucky that I got to go to Africa. I've told you the stories of the African safari I was on. I told you the stories of my climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. I also told you the story that I will not and refuse to go to circuses and zoos anymore, having seen what I saw and understanding what it is for animals to be in captivity. I am not a fan. I'm not a PETA carrying member by any stretch, but I do not agree with circuses or zoos. I cannot imagine for the life of me while the gov why the governor of Louisiana, his name is Jeff Landry. He came out yesterday publicly advocating for the return of this amazing tradition where LSU brings a real tiger onto the field of an LSU game. You see, LSU has a big game this weekend. They're playing Alabama. I guess it used to be a bigger game, but given Alabama's couple losses, not so big. But anyway, big game. And the governor came out saying, let's bring back a live tiger onto the field. LSU had a tradition that lasted decades of bringing a live tiger onto the field. You've seen pictures of it on all of your highlights for LSU games back in the day. It would be a tiger in a cage. Take my word for it. Tigers don't like being in cages. Take my word for it. They don't like being rolled around a field with 100,000 people around while cheerleaders bang on the cage trying to get some sort of response from the tiger. LSU discontinued this tradition about nine years ago, not because they thought it was the right thing to do, because the tiger died. It was, his name was Mike the Sixth. He died. And they stopped it. And I gave them credit for doing so. And now they're bringing it back. But don't worry. Don't worry. They have a plan. They understand why the current eight-year mascot, who's now Mike the Seventh, and he lives in like a 15,000 square foot habitat across the street from the stadium. By the way, that's tiny. It's not the size of a zoo cage, but it's still tiny. If you're lucky enough one day to go on safari, you'll understand what habitats tigers actually want to live in because take the over on 15,000 feet, trust me. But they're gonna, keep Mike the seventh across the street. They're busing in a tiger from another preserve to be the tiger that they take around in a cage. There's a preserve who raises money in order to operate and they lend out the animals obviously because LSU is gonna pay to have this tiger come to LSU and be paraded around 100,000 fans. It infuriates me and I don't want to be the guy who is, you know, virtue signaling because of animal rights. I understand that people can go too far. I just know that if you stop something because you realized it was wrong, even though you really stopped it because one of the animals died, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of bringing it back now? The governor is feeling politically happy, I guess. If you're going to the LSU game this weekend, I would ask you to sit on your hands while the tiger is on the field. Do not give the governor anything other than the message that you disagree with what he's doing. And you can love the mascot, you can love LSU, and you can still recognize the difference between right and wrong.